everybody, this is Matt Doommaster here, and I uh, wanted to talk to you today about one of the most sexist games I've played in recent memory, not because of any obvious violence or insult towards women, but because from start to finish it portrays women as nothing more but sexual objects, and that game is Wildstar, the new MMO from NCSoft, developed by Carbine Studios. Now, I will quickly preface this by saying that I don't actually like Wildstar all that much, this video is not for criticism of the gameplay, but suffice to say, I think it's just another in a long line of World of Warcraft clones, and it does very little to advance the genre. I wouldn't really recommend buying it for the gameplay alone. Now, let's talk about the uh, issue I have with it in terms of sexism, and it's all about the character creation. A male character in Wildstar has a lot of choice, as each race has a very different attitude in their stance and appearance. There are normal guys, there are huge rock guys, there are static robots and agile space elves slash furries, and so on. But if you're making a female character, your only real choice is between various sizes of vixen. All the women have a sexually suggestive stance, and they all thrust their ass out as if they were porn stars waiting to be penetrated. The Orin female can literally be equipped with bunny ears, and if you need to know the implications of that, look up a little publication called Playboy. Now, strangely enough, the dudes, they can't have bunny ears. Now, a lot of defenders of Wildstar will say that the game has cartoonish, stylized graphics, which is why the female characters are okay. Disregarding why sexual exaggeration only really impacts the females, this is a hilarious defense given that cartoons are themselves incredibly sexist. Consider this, illustration and animation, like cartoons and anime and even comic books and uh, any works of animation based off them, very frequently feature impossibly stacked female characters. Now why is that? Maybe it's because cartoons are one of the only forms of media where male artists can create female characters while ever consulting someone who actually has a vagina. The artists are not restricted to the mere reality of Scarlett Johansson or Angelina Jolie. Oh, no, no, they're free to go wild with whatever their imagination dreams up. So to say that Wildstar is like a cartoon is to say it's copying a form of media that's blatantly sexist more often than not, and a copy of something sexist is still sexist. And this, of course, assumes the artist behind the game somehow had no idea of the proportions of their, their female characters might be a bit offensive, and were simply, you know, doing what they'd seen done before. That's almost certainly untrue if anyone over there at Carbine Studios has half a brain. They knew exactly what they were doing, or perhaps were encouraged to do it by higher management seeking to try and increase sales among the male demographic. I mean, just look at this shit. To be blunt, there's no fucking excuse for this kind of bullshit anymore. I could almost understand it from a cruel, capitalistic perspective if this were some triple A action game with a 90% male audience, but MMO is a genre that women love, and most estimates figure that 40% of the audience lacks a cock. So, by choosing this art, the Wildstar devs are basically telling 40% of their audience that they exist primarily to satisfy the gaze of the other 60%. And it's not like the game redeems itself with an otherwise progressive mindset. It's just the same old stupid story. Many female characters have vaguely suggestive voicing. There are few women in position of power, and those who are in roles of power are usually supportive rather than decision-making. Perhaps that changes later on in the game, but I sincerely doubt it. Now, if you're a dude, you might be wondering why you should care about all this. The moral answer is because you're not a fucking asshole and you don't want the women around you to be forced into identifying themselves as nothing but talk to real dolls. The self-interested answer is because this approach is lazy and stupid and boring. There's nothing actually that interesting or unique or new about how the female characters are depicted in Wildstar. This sort of crazy shit's been going on since the days of Betty Boop. It's just a particularly outrageous example 
of the stuff that we've seen thousands of times before. So take your pick about why you should care about it. But either way, Wildstar is definitely a sexist game, and I don't think you should buy it. Not only because of that, but also because it simply isn't a very good MMO.